This is Brian with Terpicanic. I wanted to make a quick video today for all of you people who are planning on putting an ear green system in your lawn this fall or this coming spring, or possibly a lot of you who have already put an ear green system in. I put an ear green system in my yard a year ago. I made a handful of videos about it. I wanted to be realistic about what your expectations should be. But over the past seven days, I actually installed a new valve onto my water supply going into my ear green system. This is a part that the ear green instruction manuals, uh, like if you dig deep, they tell you you can do this, but it's not on their recommended, like it's not on their quick guides that they put out. It's not obvious that you should be doing this. It certainly wasn't obvious to me, and I sure do wish that I would have installed this thing with the installation of the entire system. So what I'm talking about here is a master valve. It's an ICV valve. It's literally just a really fancy part that goes in between the PVC pipes. So if you're putting in a one inch PVC lead pipe to your ear green system, just like ear green tells you you should, all you gotta do is buy an ICV valve. Now, one inch ICV valves from Hunter are around $130. There's probably some cheaper ones out there. There's probably some more expensive ones out there. But in addition to putting this one little valve towards the beginning of your PVC system, you will need to have some standard sprinkler wire. All you need is uh, like a two, what do they call them? A two thread wire, one for a ground and one for a, for a control. I'm not sure the terminology that you're supposed to use for that. Like two threaded wire, that's all you need. Regular standard sprinkler wire. Very, very cheap. You can buy it at probably like the dollar store. Maybe not the dollar store, but you know, your local hardware store. Let me show you. I guess I also spent about $20 on an extra little in-ground box to set this in. Let me show you. All right, so this is what I put in last year. So as we open this up, I've got this pipe right here goes to my ear green system. Now I can manually turn this on and off. I installed that myself thinking that that was a really cool idea. So if I ever wanted to turn the ear green system off for good manually, I could do that. What I should have done is put a master valve in right from the get go. Now I did decide to keep the, uh, the manual so I can manually turn the water supply off uh, on and off and then on top of that I got this master valve set up so that when the ear green control box tells my ear green sprinkler to turn on it tells the sprinkler to turn on but it also tells this valve to open so this valve opens and the water flows through and then the sprinkler head pops up and runs the reason why this extra part even though you got to think you're like ah oh, it's extra like 150 bucks the reason that this part is so important is because when the ear green system is not operating, the pipe is still highly pressurized. You still have, you know, depending on your water pressure, probably roughly 50 pounds of, uh, 50 pounds of pressure per square inch, that 50 PSI running through your pipes. And every single joint anywhere in your lawn, including the actual ear green sprinkler heads, like the head itself, it's got a little valve in there. If anything fails, if any joint starts cracking or separating, if there's any problem whatsoever, it's constantly under pressure and eventually a leak is going to turn into a very, very large leak. Now that actually happened to me here in this front yard and in my side yard and the third zone, which I have in the back of my house literally all three zones, one of the joints on my PVC pipe leaked. So I had to dig every single one back up, repair the leaks, put everything back, get all my lawn looking its best again. But had I installed this right from the get-go, every pipe, everything along the way, never would have been pressurized and none of those leaks ever would have happened. This right here is how you make ear green safer to put into your lawn. Now, I put in Hunter. I don't have any relationship with Hunter, but you can see right here, it says Hunter ICV. There are cheaper master valves all the way down to like 20 bucks or so. This one is the stronger, uh, more able-bodied unit that can go up to, I don't know, hundreds of gallons per minute. Certainly don't need to do that through a pipe of this size with my water pressure, but I did figure if I was gonna install it, I might as well install the good one. Now, as you're trenching this in, wherever you're putting that master valve, you gotta run conventional sprinkler wire from the master valve to your ear green control box and in the ear green control box is a very obvious spot to plug it in. I'll show you where I plugged it into mine. So that's where I put my master valve. 
sprinkler wire comes right in right up here to my box so this is the plug this plug like to give power electricity to the unit comes up and then this wire comes up it plugs into the uh, IG digital control for one through eight if you have one of the gigantic boxes uh, there will be a second one for nine through sixteen I believe and then we've got our common wire spot now notice this is my new sprinkler wire going to the ICV valve or the master valve this protects all of the joints in the system when it's not being used when I'm not actually sprinkling the lawn and all you got to do is just plug in into the master line plug your white into the common make sure that it's set up the exact same way over here so you got your red and your white there's your red and the white down there then you go into your ear green app and you just activate the master valve setting in your ear green app so in that app all you got to do is you've got to activate the little setting where you just activate the master valve. So whenever the control box up there attempts to start sprinkler zone one or two or whatever it is, it also turns open, flips open the uh, the master valve, the ICV valve. Going forward on this channel and over on the Turpicanic website, I am never personally going to recommend anyone install an ear green system without that valve. You don't need it. It's optional but I will never recommend anyone install this system if they're not gonna put that valve in. It's ultra simple to do, especially during the initial installation process. I do wish that Eurogreen just gave you that valve, but they don't, so you gotta plan ahead. You gotta do it yourself. I'm gonna be adding this information onto my what's the real cost of installing an Eurogreen system in your yard blog page. Uh, which I've linked to down in the description below. Make sure to take a look at that. Viewers of this channel, readers of my website, do get financial incentives. Uh, there's discounts all the time for people that use the Turf Mechanic link. Those perks kind of change a lot. Sometimes it's dollars off, sometimes it's uh, free heads. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, but if you're looking to buy something, then that's a pretty good place to start. But like I said, this video is for those of you who already have a system who or who are buying or in installing a system in the very new near future anyway a link to one of the uh, hunter icv valves the one that i put in right there but like i said pretty much any of them will probably do just fine boring video for you today but i think it's pretty important so thank you for watching all the way to the end